So what does it mean to you? Because basically now you're the face of this company and Warrior Wrestling is not just great for wrestling, but it's also good for the community of Chicagoland. What does it mean to you to be the face of such a good cause as well? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, like this, I know you know this, this promotion too, the show's help raise money for charity for, for scholarships for the school as well. And so it's awesome to be able to be part of that and to be the face of any company, especially one that uh, I'm enjoying so much. is awesome. I, I, I'm talking to you about facing Johnny Impact tomorrow for the Impact World title, how I've never really gotten the opportunity to really be the guy in any promotion, any major promotion. So to be able to be here, be so happy and content here, and be able to be the face of the company and hold this world title, I mean, it's, it's awesome. It means, it means the world to me. From the very first show, I was uh, I was unsure. Whenever there's a new show pops up, a new federation, a new promotion, there was a little uh, I guess in question of like how it's going to go. Because a lot of people kind of you know have uh, hopes and dreams of, of and high aspirations, and the show just always blows up or it's a cluster or whatever. And it was a stacked show, so you're like, hey, let's, let's look like it should be great, and it was phenomenal. It was probably. I said the best first ran show I've ever been a part of or I've ever seen from any company. Um, and then to be able to be in a, an original concept, the, the War of Attrition match, which is very hard in this day and age to have to be new and different in wrestling. Uh, I thought the match was, was great. Uh, I thought it was an awesome idea. And to come on top and be the champion and be the first one here at this yeah. company, which is uh, fast becoming one of my favorite places to work, um, was tremendous. Your faces to me that's superhero right there oh it's, it's awesome it, when i ever you know it doesn't even like you said too it can be a child it can be an adult whenever i hear anybody tell me that i've motivated them whether it's to pursue some aspiration pursue a hobby you can lose weight whatever it is uh it means the world to me because i i know what it's like being you know in in that seat of, of being a fan of somebody and having something that they say or do inspire you to achieve some sort of aspiration or, or achieve a goal or, or go after it. So to get that feeling back, you know, reciprocated, and and and, and to, to to feel like I'm still a pretty humble guy, so to think of, oh, I'm just you know some like whatever wrestler and have someone look up to me like that or say that I've given them you know motivation or, or, or just encourage them to do whatever they're going after. It's it's awesome. Yeah. It, it, it's it's a little bit of a uh, it's just a wake up call. Like wow, man, this is this is, this is crazy. You know, I think first and foremost, it's, it's, it's all about just commitment and dedication. I mean, and that too, that's not, that can be applied to the gym, but it's just, just in every day to day life. No matter what you're, what field you're walking in and whatever you're trying to, to, to gain, if, as they say, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. So right. if you're trying to get somewhere, it's just focusing on that mindset. I've been, I've been lucky enough that whatever I'm trying to do, I can just flip it on like a switch, like, all right, this is it. I'm doing this, I'm sticking to this, I'm doing this, I'm getting here, I'm doing that, whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter what naysayer comes the way, what you know, setback, what roadblock, I'm determined and I'm gonna make it until until it happens. So I feel like that mental uh, focus is, is really 
well, the, the, the key to succeeding in anything, especially being the machine, just because, again, it's not going to come easy, it's not going to come overnight. You have to be patient, but consistency is the key, and just be steadfast and strong and dedicated and determined to make it happen, because I feel like it's really you versus the world. It's, you know, you versus you, so only you can really make yourself fail. And uh, the only way to really fail is to never try. Tonight, it is you versus Bandito. What do you think about the match tonight? What are you looking to see happen? Obviously, you want to retain the title, but it is on the line. It is on the line, and Bandito is a phenomenal, you know, first, uh, first challenge for me. He's a phenomenal athlete. He's making a lot of waves. Uh, he's, he's an excellent luchador, he's an excellent wrestler. Um, I, uh, I, I had the opportunity to, to face him once before in Australia last year. It was an awesome match, I'm looking forward to the rematch. Um, but uh, I'm not trying to say I'm, I'm, I'm sailing past him, but uh, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too worried. I want to be overconfident, but I, I feel that tonight's, success, uh, tonight's title fight will be a success. It'll be an awesome match, hopefully we steal the show, but uh, I think you'll still see me as champion at Warrior Wrestling 4. Oh, my God.